All right, welcome back. I am Uncle Snaff. We are going to do another review. Here we are. We've got the off-grid knives. OG 950 Cleaver Flipper Knife. It is spring-assisted. Has the AUS-8 cryo-Japanese blade. It's got the G10 handle. Tip up, left or right, deep hand or deep pocket carry. All right. That is quite a mouthful to say the least. But this is a mouthful of a knife. All right, so we've done tactical. We've done practical. Now we're going to do cleaver. <laughs> no, this is not a bad episode of Leave It to Beaver or Leave It to Cleaver. In this particular case, this is just a cool knife. So we're going to talk about cool factor, all right? Yes, these all are cool. And these all have something that's to offer. The Cleaver family is a little bit different, all right? They're a strange family, all right? I like these I, I like these two knives greatly. I like this one for a whole different reason, all right? These got purpose, this one's got purpose too. Don't discount the Cleaver blade style, all right? Let's talk about some size first of all. There's something really unique about this, all right? This knife here requires, in a lot of states, a concealed carry license. This knife here requires, in a lot of states, including the state of Florida, a concealed carry license. All right. This knife doesn't, but wait a minute. Let's look at this. These knives are all the same. Why is this knife here legal and these two are not legal? Well, it has to do with cutting blade, all right? The cutting blade on this knife is just a little bit shorter, all right? And because of that, the cutting edge is 2.9 inches, all right? Let's actually take a tape measure and take a look, all right? 2.9 inches right there, all right? That's the cutting length of this blade. That makes this knife legal and these two not. Even though, if you take a look at the rest of them, they're all the same size handles and even blade length. So if I go draw a line straight down here just like this, you'll notice that these blades all line up, all right? But the cutting edges on these blades do not line up, and that's what makes the difference. The difference is the cutting edge, all right? So, because of that, all right, um, the everything else about this knife is the same as these knives when it comes to size. It's a half inch grip. Uh, the finger hold on it is a little over four inches. Um, it's got great finger hold on it. All right, and we're going to get into the rest of that. A couple things that are a little bit different. What makes a cleaver knife, first of all, is that the blade drops down past the main body of the uh, knife. Then it also drops lower than the tang of the knife. That's a cleaver, all right? Whereas, even though this has been considered a cleaver knife, this is not a cleaver knife. The Sea Dog is not a cleaver knife, all right? And the reason is, is because the cutting edge of the blade does not drop below the tang of the, the knife. That's the whole thing, all right? Same thing with the drop point, all right? So let's get these guys out of the picture, all right? I love those guys, but that's not the review that we're doing. This is the review we're doing. This is the uh, cleaver blade, all right? Now, first of all, people ask all the time, why would you carry a cleaver blade? Um, 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 let's see here. Um, 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 Cause it's cool. <laughs> there you have it, race fans. It's just cool. It looks cool. It acts cool. It's a cleaver blade for good Lord. I mean, that's just, it's a strange looking knife. Comfort-wise, it's not going to carry so comfortably in your pocket. I'm left-handed. I have this set up as left-handed. Like I said, you can do left-hand or right-hand carry, uh, so it's adjustable with the clip. They use the tie style clip. I really like the clip. I've bent mine up some. I've talked about this before. That is a personal preference. It's a little bit flatter when it comes out of the factory. It's strictly up to you. I like to bend mine up so it's easier to get in and out of the pockets, all right? It's because of the style of clothing that I wear, all right? That's really all it has to do. But and that's just that's a little odd, 
all right? But that's a cleaver. That's the whole design of a cleaver. It's got this really cool flat blade or fat blade, and that just makes it a different type of knife. Cool things with cleavers, if you're going to use this as a working blade, you can use a pinch grip. Pinch grip, wonderful, all right? This is a razor sharp knife, all right? And I do mean razor sharp. Takes the hair right off you ooh, without any issue whatsoever, all right? That's a really, really sharp knife. Again, the AUS-8 steel is phenomenal steel. I've talked about this before. It's incredible. A couple things this knife has for features, all right? First of all, opening the knife, all right? It does have thumb studs. They have done a phenomenal job of making the uh, small details on the thumb studs workable, and they're actually very grippy. They stick to your finger. Your finger is not going to come off of it, so it's not gonna be one of those slide points. So if you are a person that uses thumb uh, stud opening, uh, it's, it's very positive. It's not gonna be a problem for you. I have big old fat meat grinder hands, and thumb studs are always an issue, and thumb studs on this knife are not an issue. Left or right hand for me, doesn't matter. Uh, it's the same kind of deal, so keep that in mind. The other way to open this knife is with the uh, a finger bar here, and I love that finger opening. is phenomenal. That's the way I prefer to open a knife. It's very quick, it's very easy, and honestly speaking, with eyes closed, I can do that all day long and never have an issue. It's muscle memory, it's easy to do. Uh, so when it comes out, boom, here you go, flip, you got it, all right? Here's your tactical advantage, all right? Tactical advantage, bad guy, hey, I'm gonna be a bad guy, ah, okay, that kind of thing. And you come out with, and they're gonna go, ha, huh, you're a crazy man. <laughs> with that blade, I'm out of here and I'm gone. <laughs> there you go, I had to do the tactical advantage of a cleaver. There you go, that's that's the whole advantage. Again, you guys know me, I'm a working man, and uh, I don't have to worry about saving the world with a knife, but I do have to say, if you were to pull this out, that would scare the living stuffings out of just about anything and anybody, all right? Uh, outside of that, the G10 handle is actually pretty grippy. Um, it's got a very small, um, uh, kind of like a, a cross pleated uh, 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 machining to it and it does make it very grippy. It's not as grippy as the Sea Dog with this very aggressive style type of um, um, grinding to it um, or even the uh, OG219 where they've got the, the fish scales style. This is, is smoother, it's a little bit more comfortable. I would like to consider this as like the fine cutlery kind of style knife. And that's really what it is. Okay, I have to admit this because it needs to be said, I have actually eaten a steak using this knife. It cuts like a champ, oh my goodness. All right, so there you go, I, I, I own up to that 100%. I'm sorry world for being a freak. <laughs> All of the stuff on this blade though is incredible. Uh, all the materials are fine quality materials. And here's something that I really, really like. This locking mechanism is actually the finger groove here to get to the uh, lock is very deep. It's very easy to lock and unlock. I love that feature. Left or right handed, it doesn't matter. It's very easy to open and close. It locks quietly but it's, it's, it's got a good lock to it, listen. It's quiet, but it's solid. And it actually, if you actually take a look on it, it's actually got a pretty sizable little locking area. And then on top of it, you get back to the, uh, the back bar here, and uh, the uh, backstop is huge, it's solid, it's got good jimping. Uh, I, I got no complaints. I mean, that's a good solid locking and it stays in a center position. I mean, this is a very centered uh, blade. Here's something else that's real important. Let me get this in focus here. All right, it takes a second. Let's see if we can show this off. There we go, there's a good shot of it. All right, so the uh, bearings on this are the brass style bearings. Um, OG or OG off grid knives have gotten rid of the uh, Teflon. They're going to the brass. I like the brass. Again, longevity on this knife is going to be uh, lifelong. You know, and they also have you know their lifetime warranty on these things for the most part. These guys, 
stand up 1000% and I love off-grid knives because of that, all right? That is a solid company. That is a solid knife. This is the Cleaver uh, Flipper, spring-assisted, uh, the AUS-8 blade with a G10 handle. I don't need to say any more. Go check it out, pick one up, and be cool, all right? <laughs> All right, I'm Uncle Snap. I am out of here. You guys have seen my review. I enjoy. Have some fun out there. See you!